problem 4.25 of our textbook Mechanical Vibration from Ralph, 6th edition. And here we have an automobile having a mass of 1,000 kilograms and runs over a road bump of a shape shown in the figure, which is a triangular pulse. The speed of the automobile is 50 kilometers per hour, and we will model the system as an undamped system, and its natural period is said to be one second. And we like to find the response of that car by assuming a single degree of freedom undamped system vibrating in the vertical direction. So we have the car of a mass of 1,000 kilograms, and then the velocity is uh, 50 kilometers per hour. Let's write that here and convert the velocity in meters over seconds. So I will multiply by 1,000 and divide by 3,600. And that will give me a velocity of 13.8 periodic meters over second. I can get the time to cover that uh, bump because I have the distance. The distance to the first uh, half of the bump is 0 0.25 meters. Therefore, I divide that by 13.8 periodic and I get a time of 0 0.018 seconds. So at the final, that's the half of the bump. At the other half will be 0 0.036. So I'm going to copy that now in terms of time. And I have here the time 0 0.018 for the first half and 0 0.036 the second half. Let me do the free body diagram. And we have only one force, which is the spring force. Remember that we don't even draw the weight because we are taking x measured from the, the equilibrium position. So we add forces in y and we get the force of the spring and it will be times the distance between the two ends of the spring equals to mass times acceleration. And my equation of motion becomes m x2 dots plus kx equals to k times y being y the displacement of the road, which is the bump. So my force is k times y. Let me write y in terms of the piecewise function. So at the beginning, we have one ramp, which slope is g sub 0 over t sub 0, and is t. And that's valid only from t greater than 0, less than t sub 0. t sub 0 is 0 0.018 seconds. Then we have another ramp that is a negative ramp with the same slope, but y intersection of 2 y sub 0. And this part of the function is only valid for t greater than t sub 0 and less than 2 t sub 0. The last piece of the function is 0, and that will be valid only for time greater than 2 t sub 0. Now, to solve this problem, I will use the method of superposition. And I will find to rewrite or redraw my function in terms of functions which answers I know. We did in the theory functions like a impulse, a step, and a ramp. I will be able to write, rewrite this function, let me write the function, in terms of only ramp functions. So the first function that I have is a ramp. I go to infinity, and that will be from 0, valid only from 0 to t less than t sub 0, right? But that ramp goes to infinity, so I will have to subtract the area that is left after t sub 0. And I will have to subtract one ramp, and then I will have to subtract another ramp to get the negative ramp. So, in t equals t sub 0, I will subtract two ramps of the same slope. With the first ramp, I get a constant force, and with the second ramp, I get the negative ramp of the same slope. 
So I am putting two ramps with an offset of D sub C. So this is two ramps and the slope is the same, but it's offset. Now to get a zero force or a zero displacement after two D sub zero, I have to add one ramp and then that will cancel out that other ramp that I have negative and I will get a zero displacement. And this is one ramp with offset to T sub zero. The first one was T sub zero and this is two T sub zero. So let me write this same function, but now in terms of this combination of functions. will be the same k times y sub t, but I will write it so in terms of the functions that I just drew. The first uh, period of time will be the same, but now the second will be the first ramp minus the two negative ramps that are offset at this sub zero. And the third one will be the first ram minus the two rams offset in T sub zero plus one ram that is offset to T sub zero. And that will be valid only for times greater than two T sub zero. And I will find the answer to this function written in terms of other functions, right? So the response will be for the time between zero and T sub zero is just the response of a ramp and we have done that in the theory. So, and this is valid for any time between zero and T sub zero. And this is the response of a ramp that we name capital R. I will go just very quickly to my formula sheet to show you that capital R, which is this function right here that I'm highlighting. This is the one that I will use. And you can go back to the theory to see where I uh, demonstrate that function. So that will be K, J sub zero over T sub zero, and the function that we just said that is 1 over k t minus 1 over omega n sine of omega n t. To get the values for this specific problem, we have that y sub 0 is 0 0.1 meters. This is the height of the bump. T sub zero we calculated that is 0 0.018 seconds mm -hmm. and omega n was we got that it was the period was one her, one second so it's two pi over that period is two pi and then if we divide y sub zero over t sub zero that gives me 5.5 .5 periodic that means 5.5555 so as you see, K cancel out, then my response will be 5.5 periodic T minus 1 over omega N, and that gives me a value of 1592 sine of 2 pi T. And that will be the response to the system valid only between 0 and T sub 0. Let's find now the response for times valid between t sub zero and two t sub zero. Now we have to have the same response of that ramp, exactly the same, but now we have to subtract two ramps that are offset. And I will use the same equation that I used for the first ramp, but with an offset. So let me substitute that. And that is very similar to the previous one. And now I subtract the two ramps. So that will be 
Now the, I have to add the offset. So whenever it's time, I have to write t minus t sub zero. So with a little bit of algebra, let's simplify this expression. Will the case cancel out? And then I will get the independent terms that do not have sign. It's t and 2t minus 2t sub 0. So it's, well, with a negative sign, it's neg two, minus 2t two plus 2t two sub 0. And then the terms that carry the sign are negative sine of omega n t, and then negative plus negative becomes positive, and it's 2 sine of omega n t minus t sub 0. Okay, let's input the values specific for this problem. We said that g sub 0 over t sub 0 is 5.5 .5 periodic, and we see here that t minus 2t, and we get 2t sub 0. And here, g sub 0 over t sub 0 omega n is 0 0.8842. Okay, so this is the response for times greater than t sub 0 and less than 2t sub 0. Let's go to the last piece of the function, which is where a time greater than 2t sub 0. And so we add the, the two terms that we add for the two previous uh, parts of the function, but now we have to add a third one. And the third one is adding a ramp that is offset at t minus 2 t sub 0. So let me write all these functions again just to simplify them. So this is t sub 0, 1 over omega n, sine of omega n t. The second one we already wrote it as well, 1 sub 0 over t t minus t sub 0 minus 1 over omega n sine of omega n t minus t sub 0 and now the third one which is positive and is y sub 0 over t t minus 2 t sub 0 minus 1 over omega n sine of omega n t minus 2 t sub 0 Let me put all the terms that are independent from sum together. And I have this sub 0 over t. And so the first one is a t. The second one is negative t plus 2 t sub 0. And the third one is t minus 2 t sub 0. And the terms that carry sine of omega and t are the first one is negative sine of omega n t the second one becomes positive 2 sine of omega n t t minus t sub 0 and the third one is negative sine of omega n t minus 2 t sub 0 as you see those terms all cancel out for the first uh, term and we get that that all first terms become 0 so we end up only with the second term, y over t sub 0 over omega n is 0 0.8842, and that is sine of omega 2 pi t plus 2 sine of omega n, which is 2 pi t minus t sub 0 is 0 0.018, and minus sine of omega n, which is 2 pi t minus 0.036 and this is the response for times greater than 2 t sub 0 all those uh, responses are in meters so let's put the units and this is the solution for this problem